Yeah. How tough was that last drive there? Um, you know, it's super tough. I just feel like we're good enough to get a stop, you know? It's tough. Third and two, obviously they're going to try to attack what they think is a weakness. What's your thoughts on that third and two just before the kneel downs? Um, I mean, honestly, is are you saying our weakness is the run? Well, that's what they assume based on what happened last week in Buffalo. So. I mean, I wouldn't say they attacked the weakness. I mean, I felt like majority of the game, we shut down the run, had a lot of TFLs, had a lot of success. So I wouldn't say the weakness, but if you're talking about situational football and game football and IQ, why wouldn't you run it on third and two and you're in already in field goal position? So, I mean, I wouldn't say that's the weakness at all. I think we stopped the run pretty well um, and did what we were supposed to do. I think we did against two overall. I thought we did good. I don't think we really gave up anything big. We They scored one time, a lot of field goals. I mean, they coming into the game, I think everybody knew they were going to get some big plays, some big opportunities with the weapons they have. And I thought we did a great job containing them. You mentioned the good thing you guys did in the five field goals that you hold the number one offense in the league to. Just kind of quantifying the frustration of not coming out with the win after that kind of performance. Same thing with the Eagles, same thing now. It's a game of inches. Games are decided by one or two plays. Um, that's the league, man. It's hard to win. Um, they won the turnover battle. Um, so, you know, I, I think uh, as a defense, we take accountability because we pride ourselves in getting the ball back, and uh, we didn't do a good enough job at that. Can you pinpoint the road issues? I mean, you have one on the road, but of late, there's been some struggles with Buffalo today. I mean, we fight, we fighting with our back against the wall. I, a lot of penalties. I mean, it, it's mind blowing the things that's getting called and the positions we get put in. I mean, the thing is, um, we just got to learn how to fight the adversity. I know a lot of this BS, and we're like, this is football plays, and these is, but it's the world we live in. We got to start in the helmet. You hit two on the back. What did the ref say to you on that call? He said, I mean, Anybody who's watching, I mean, I won so quick. Like, I, how am I supposed to know he got the ball out? I mean, it's within a second. I didn't leave my feet. I didn't leave with my head. So I don't know what a rough and the passer is anymore. He said I could have done something in some manner to avoid him. But in reality, I ran into D-Law. Like, we both met the quarterback. I mean, like I said, it's just hard to play defense. Is that play Aren't you more supposed to have a step anyway? Those instances. Aren't you supposed yeah. to at least have one? He said I, my intent was to punish the quarterback, but how am I trying to punish him if I'm just trying to sack him? I mean, it's not like it's a late hit. It's not like I'm leaving my feet. I didn't leave with my head. Um, I don't know how you make that call. I don't see no justification. Was, he said I just try to punish him, and I, I haven't got a rough in the past all year. What, what do I have against Tua to even try to hurt Tua or anything? I'm just trying to get a sack. I mean, I'm, I'm one clean. Is that, is that kind of play more frustrating or the ones that aren't getting called the holdings against you? Yeah, I think that's that's frustrating in itself. I mean, it's like I can't get a call, but I get things called on me, you know. So obviously they're looking. They just don't care what they call, you know, as long as it's just not with us. But at the end of the day, I mean, we just got to win these type of games. You guys have had a rebound from losses in the past. Now back-to-back, back, it's kind of stacked now. How do you kind of take this approach into Detroit next week? Another really good team. Yeah, you know, we just got to come and bring our best. Um, we're back at home. We got a great opportunity to win at home um, and get back in the swing of things. But in reality, uh, we just got to we just gotta get another win, and we just got to win. Uh, I hate losing. I hate this feeling. Um, I know we're such a better team. Um, and it's just it's frustrating when it's not when the results and what you know doesn't show. In the playoffs around the corner, what would give you confidence in going on the road? There's no one that can give me more confidence than the guys in this room. Um, we just need guys to buy in, own in on what we want to do, confine the details, trust one another, because, uh, you, know, you know, that's the only thing that matters is the guys in this room, this locker room. And without them, I mean, I can't go anywhere. We can't go anywhere. To, you know, to, we, got, we just got to buy in everybody. I heard the more that tunnel drive, you know, you guys needed to get them out the field and you couldn't get them out the field. How, how tough was that? You know, it's super demoralizing. I, I just feel like we're good enough to get a stop, and we didn't get a stop. I mean, we got gashed. I mean, we gave up plays. It's tough. I mean, I can, 